creating a link in D2L. So the same idea here is the home page of this specific course. And again, I want that link to be under the content for my students. That's what they'll be looking at. So I go to the content tab. Um, and here are our major categories. I'm going to collapse them all. Okay. Um, we have our table of contents uh, under D2L instruction. And I have decimals assigned. So under that instruction, um, creating a link in D2L is where this video is going to be stored. But let's say we've already made a video, um, one on adding a participant. And I want to add, add a link to that video. So I've stored that video outside of D2L. So specifically, I've put it in YouTube. Um, but maybe it's a, a clip that you have off YouTube or some other site. You'll just have to know how to find the, the URL for it. Okay. So again, this is a new link. I haven't added a link before. So I go under New and we create a link. Um, so I can title it. Um, D2L. Perfect. Okay, and then they ask you for the URL. So we have to have that URL. I've already prepped it, and here is our here's our page, and here's the URL. So I'm just gonna copy that, and then I'm going to paste it over top. Now I suggest we open it in an external resource. So it's gonna open it in, in its own tab. Okay, otherwise it's gonna navigate you away from the D2L page or your whatever LMS you're in, and um, we don't want that. We want the students to be able to go back in case this isn't the video they wanted to watch or anything. So we're gonna open it in an external resource, okay? And we create that link, and here it's giving you the list of where it is, okay? So it's under Table of Contents, D2L Instruction, Adding a Participant, and then we called it Adding a Participant in D2L again. So just to go through that one last time, it goes under Content, so this is where they can find it. Um, okay, and we had it under D2L Instruction, and it was Adding a Participant. Okay, and here we can go to the subcategory this way too. And this symbol is adding, or this is showing that it's an external link. So when I click on it, adding a participant, it opens a new window and it starts to play the video for the student. And so as soon as it loads, so we're in D12. and you have it. Okay, so that is how we create a link.